Hello everyone. Now in this video, let us try to explore uh, the directory structure a little more. Like like we have seen main activity class. Let's find. And we have seen resource folder. In the resource folder, we have seen resource designer class, which basically contains the information about the controls that we have on our activity, or you can say layout, or our screen. So these are the controls that we have on our screen. We have also explored drawable folders, which contains images, icons, and the screens that we have are contained in layout folder. So main screen, if I want one more activity, I can add one more layout here. But we haven't seen values folders yet. So in this video, we will try to explore this values folder. Let us see what does this values folder contain. It contains an XML file that is nothing but strings.xml. Now if you see that there is a tag called as string and the application name resides here. And this is the application name that we are setting in our main activity. The label whatever we are setting in. Fine. Now what is the use of this? Use of this, let us see that practically. Now here, I'll set the text as copy this, paste it here. Now instead of plus ID, I'll say string. Now the text of the button is at string slash the ID of the button that is btn at. Now the value for this string, I can set it in XML as a resource file. This is a resource file. So I'll simply copy this and paste it here. Name is btn add and the value that I want is click me to add and I'll save this. Now you see that I get the text here. Let me execute this. So here we get our app and you can see that you get the text click me to add and the result is 112. Now you might be thinking that what is the use? I can directly write the text here. But the use of this is to implement localization. Let us assume that you have a scenario where your app needs to be executed or needs to work with different languages or multilingual app. If you want to develop an app, in multiple languages that concept is called as globalization and implementing it to a particular language is called as localization so whenever we have the scenario of localization it will be helpful at that time now say this is the default now i'll copy this and i'll paste it let me stop first copy this and I'll paste it here and at I will I'll rename it to values hyphen hi that means Hindi so this is default and this resource file is for Hindi now click me to add this text I'll give in Hindi so I have the text ready with me and save it. In the same way, I want to implement this in Arabic language as well. Copy this, paste it here, rename values hyphen 
ए आर अरबी एंड द टेक्स्ट अगेन आई हैव रेडी विथ मी सेव ऑल रीबिल्ड दिस सी आई हैवन डन एनी थिंग आई हैवन रिटर्न इवन ए सिंगल लाइन ऑफ कोड जस्ट आई हैव एडेड फ्यू एक्स एम एल फाइल्स विथ कन्वेंशंस वैल्यूज हाइफन ए आर फॉर अरबिक वैल्यूज हाइफन एच आई फॉर हिंदी इन द सेम वे फॉर एनी लोकल यू हैव दैट कोड यूज दैट कोड एंड पुट द टेक्स्ट इन द एक्स एम एल फाइल स्ट्रिंग्स डॉट एक्स एम एल फाइल और लेट मी एग्जीक्यूट दिस नाउ दिस इज डिफॉल्ट इट शुड वर्क एज एक्सपेक्टेड नाउ इफ द लैंग्वेज ऑफ माई मोबाइल इज डिफरेंट सो आई कैन सेट दैट हियर फ्रॉम कस्टम लोकेल now i'll select arabic language that is nothing but ar hyphen arabic i'll say select arabic so my local language is arabic now now i should go back to my app that is nothing but whatever i have developed now you should see the text on the text box in arabic yes and the functionality should be the same so this is so simple just you need to add values folder with an xml file with key value pairs that is nothing but all the tags with names of the tag as the id of the control and the text whatever you want so this is for arabic and this is for hindi and this is default so this is all about your values folder so that's it for this video thank you very much